In Fusion, it's incredibly easy to add supports and additional structures to your design using RIB. The RIB tool is faster and can save you time, but it can make stronger designs, automate the extrude process, create smarter sketching, and can work with curved surfaces. Let's look at it. In Fusion, I have a simple L bracket, and what I'd like to do is create a support over on the left. Now, the way that you might do this is come in and sketch effectively a triangle. Now, I would sketch from you know edge to edge, being sure to connect, and then I would redraw these edges, or I would use project, which Fusion kind of auto does for you in some cases, if you have that enabled, and then you'd hit extrude. You'd extrude this shape right here, click OK, there we go. And I'm gonna create a brand new plane right in the middle by choosing the midplane. And this is intelligent, it'll let you find the midplane quickly if you select two outer faces. I have this brand new midplane. I'll start a sketch. I'm gonna sketch a line and I don't even have to finish it. I do need it to terminate and hit if it were extended. What's nice is you don't have to finish it. I could add dimensions but I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the rib command. I'll go to create and choose rib. Now, what this does is it's gonna solve in two directions. It's gonna extend the sketch, so it's intelligent there. It's gonna extend it down. We're gonna go over to distance here so we can kind of explain what's happening. I want it to go down a little bit, five millimeters, and I want it to go a distance from the original sketch plane. This first dialog is the perpendicular distance to your sketch plane. So it's how thick do you want this to be? So this is 50 millimeters thick. Would you like it to be uh, equally thick on both sides of the line? That's the sym symmetry. Or you can do one side and then adjust that value. If you need it to go the other direction, just make it negative. It'll bring it over. Let's bring it into symmetry. Let's do 15 or something. All right, the lower value in this dialog here is how far down do you want it to solve towards these faces. If you'd like it to intelligently go until it hits, go to the toggle and choose to next and it will solve that. Now what happens if we roll back before uh, we made this bracket, right? And we edit the sketch, we change this angle and, and kind of bring it off at an angle like this. Click OK, it, the extrude resolves the rib that we just did. What is it doing? It's still solving, which is great. Now, what's gonna happen as soon as the angle becomes too large, our originals or our rib sketch is gonna have a problem. It fails. The reason it fails is because this is extending and not hitting a face. So you do need to be careful that it, if your sketches are extended, so to speak, that they're gonna hit. Now, one thing we could do to solve for this is we actually could introduce a jog. I go to the rib sketch and I just add a line here where it's coming out at this flat, flatter angle and hit okay. It's now gonna try to resolve. Let's go to our rib and make sure that it's got everything selected. Now that it knows about that, click OK, and it's resolving. So you can introduce um, additional lines. It doesn't have to be one single line for your rib. OK, so on the last one, it wasn't really that hard, right? You could easily extrude that. You can figure that out. Where I really like rib is when you have rounded faces or not flat faces or non-planar where you can have it intelligently solve. Let's look at this one. I've got a couple cylinders here, and what I want to do is create a sketch right in the middle. Let's try that midplane thing again. What's cool is even though these are not parallel, it still will solve a midplane in the middle when I select those two outer faces. Pretty cool. So I'll go to the sketch plane here and hit sketch, and we're going to sketch our lines. I'm going to actually try to connect the whole thing and, and be really prescriptive about where I want this to be. So it jogs over and down at an angle. And now what I want it to do is I'd like to create this rib. So if I do an S key, search for rib, and now choose this line, 
Remember that toggle for flipping direction right here. Click that and now it's solving on both sides. But what's really cool is look at this rounded face. As I solve it, it doesn't create a gap. It doesn't fail to connect, even though it needs more material. It's intelligently solving around this rounded area or rounded face. And of course, we can come in and adjust thickness. If we don't want this to be a completely solid support, we could do distance and then we'd set it to, let's say, eight millimeters. And so it's only eight millimeters thick as it supports it. But it's still intelligently solving around these rounded faces. Now, you might be asking or just wondering, since all I've done is lines, you absolutely can do splines, you can do arcs, you can do just about anything with the rib command. I'm going to come in and do a spline here, and I'm going to, you know, come and make this more complex support wall, and I'm not even going to finish it. And I heard about a tip from the community. Someone said that if you click your middle mouse twice, it'll wrap up the spline, which is kind of cool. I didn't know that. I usually hit enter or I hit that little green check mark. You definitely don't hit escape with splines. I talked about that in that spline video. Check that out. That's I'll link that below. But we've got this rib ready to go. We'll come down and find the rib command under create. And we'll choose this profile right here. You can see it's solving on the outside. And we have our options, so we can set it, flip it. It's going on the inner. And do we want it to just be a support wall, or do we want it to go all the way through or all the way with to next? Totally up to us. Hey, so that's the rib command. Play with that one. Experiment. See if you can learn a little bit more today. And if you'd like to improve your fusion skills just a little bit every day, and you like emails, I have a daily email that will increase your skills just a little bit every day. It's the price of a cup of coffee each month. Check it out. I'll link that below. I'll see you guys in the next video.